Hey guys, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One! As always, I'm Vicious V. Last time we began our adventure, and I talked a bit about my own tabletop experiences. Now let's go continue the tabletop table talk. There's a rat infestation in the village. Please, could you deal with it as fast as possible? I think this is supposed to be... I think this was all supposed to happen bef actually before I had just attacked the rats. The commoner girl is really frightened and you can see it in her eyes. You're helping not only her, but the whole village as well. Oh no, okay. Um, I had one in my previous game where I started it and... Alright, we can take all five at once. I started it and I attacked the enemies and then after I finished killing the enemies the introductory text came up and then immediately resolved itself. Uh, we're gonna do fireball over here. Um, so I thought that was what was happening there now but apparently not. Anyways, uh, yeah, I have a very strong affinity for all things steampunk, and um, I couldn't resist taking it's four e four e d and d. Um, it's fourth edition, and taking that into a steampunk world of my own design. And so I, could, especially because I love the crazy names uh, steampunk things get. Like, uh, I didn't give my party a, a bag of holding. I gave them a qu contained quantum vortex container. <laughs> um, or uh, I had one, one party member that was a uh, warforged, and I gave him an ablative force field. Uh, component that he could attach to himself, which uh, basically gave him damage resistance. I think it started at five, and each time he got hit, it got reduced by one. Uh, so he could get hit five times with damage resistance, but the fifth time it would only be resisting one damage. Um, and and I liked creating all kinds of crazy items for them. A common girl. Maybe the rumors are true. You really are great warriors. Wait here. She quickly goes inside your house. What is this? A bathroom break? Quest done! So many rat corpses on the ground. You're starting to earn respect from the villagers. And I don't know. I mean, how many rat corpses would you have to leave behind to actually start earning respect? Uh, anyways... Alright, uh, now that we are a little higher in level, I'm actually going to go to this one for some leveling as opposed to story progression. I need some items from the Den of Devil. Den of Devil. Could you head over there and provide me with some of them? Sure, why not? We're kind of bored anyway. We'll do it. And this is this is all basically exactly how D&D &D works. Um, you know, a good DM can make it compelling and interesting and and, and not seem uh, so cliche, but down deep in the core, this is exactly what it is. We're gonna rest, because my mage has no mana! Apparently he doesn't regen any during travel, which stupid. He should. Uh, but I think some of these cliches are the reason that I love D and D in the first place. Uh, I like being the ridiculous, sometimes goofy hero that takes on, you know, the cliche enemy and and all that. It's it's. It's fun. I mean, my favorite, my absolute favorite character class is Paladin. I love being the tank, uh, especially a tank that can heal itself. And I love drawing in 
the uh, enemy's attacks away from my teammates because it just makes me, in my mind at least, it makes me the shining star of, of, of the party, you know. I mean, I'm not because nine times out of ten when I go to attack an enemy, I won't kill, I won't kill it and, and, and probably won't even hit it simply because I've min-maxed my character to draw all the attention and absorb all the damage without it uh, really negatively affecting him. So, I mean, he does his job as a tank perfectly, but he's not exactly... Oh no, we're putting into... Leader Strike. Uh, to generate more threat. Because a paladin is supposed to generate threat. Um, well, this is actually probably the only point we'll put into Leader Strike. The rest will go into Flash Heal. So I can uh, withstand... Where's Strike? Is this Strike? No, that's Cleave. Strike. So I can withstand the damage that I'm, I'm taking. And Fireball. Yes. Yes! Let's fight some more bats. Batty bat, 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 bat. We can get... Wow, we can get four in there now. Alright, we're getting... We're getting up there. Leader strike! Fireball! Wow! That fireball is going to be acing things right and left. Strike! Um... I think, however, my favorite class is the Paladin, but my uh, my most favorite character ever was a um, a Ladrin Ranger, dual wielding. Uh, I think he was dual wielding. Um, I can't remember what they're called. They're the, uh, they're the, they're these. They're, from the real world, there is they're ancient is uh, is Israelite swords. They're um, they kind of look like question marks a little bit, and they count in the game. They count as both, um, they count as both swords and axes. Uh, Kopesh. Kopesh is what they're called. Um, but the thing I loved most about Wylam Kirkguard and all my D and D buddies who who happen to watch this episode are probably groaning right now, uh, already knowing what I, uh, what I'm gonna say or what you know. Just just the mention of of that character's name probably has them groaning and rolling their eyes. But Wylam Kirkguard was... Um... He was derp. <laughs> I basically gave him eight, uh, ADHD, uh, Attention Deficit hyper dis uh, Hyperactivity Disorder, and a low intelligence. Not like retarded intelligence, but he wasn't bright, and that combined with the ADHD kind of made him retarded. <laughs> I remember, I think it was possibly the first night that we stayed at an inn in the campaign, uh, Wylam went around to all, all his party members' in-room doors putting trip wires on the outside of the door because he he figured that that would protect his teammates from anybody sneaking in on them <laughs> and it led to like half the party coming out because no one attacked that night and it led to like half the party coming out of the door of their rooms the next morning and immediately planting face first onto the floor over the over the the trip wires